A violent 30 days. April was the deadliest month of the year in Baltimore. Gunfire spiraled out of control after a decline in murders during the first few months of the year. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Rick Ritter takes a closer look at the bloodshed and has reaction tonight from the mayor and from the community for us. Rick? Well, Mary, it's hard to believe that we went 12 days in February without a murder. Since then, the numbers have spiked dramatically. We had 34 homicides in April. And while that's certainly disturbing, the mayor says this city is still headed in the right direction. One crime scene after the other scattered throughout city streets. A familiar dread that's returned to Baltimore. Baltimore is being looked at from a negative perspective all around. A quiet start to the new year brought optimism, but is now overshadowed by a bloody April that left 34 people dead. A month that saw a mother and daughter executed in their West Baltimore home. Yeah, a woman yeah. shot in the head when carjacked in Highland Town. I almost lost my life and I would have never been able to see my kids again. And a 61-year-old man left paralyzed after being shot when he returned home from church. We heard two shots. Bam, bam. Mayor so Catherine forth. Pugh. So our intelligence tells us what is going on in the city, uh, but we're still trending downward. Police have said most of the recent violence has to do with two rival groups and a cycle of retaliation. And those guys send a message. Uh, they don't care who they kill and who they hurt. Dr. Reverend Andre Humphrey, who's been a part of trauma like response in this there, city for decades. The system, the judicial system knows who the violent offenders are, but yet. Uh, they keep letting them back on the streets. Humphrey says uh, it's about taking a different approach with mental health and showing kids love at a young age. If you haven't shown a child love, they don't know love, so they can't give it back. So they don't care um, who they harm. A city some feel is trending in the wrong direction yet again. And summer hasn't even hit. There's hope if people want it, but they got to want it. Mary, earlier today, a body was found in a vacant home that was being demolished. Homicide detectives were called to that scene, but it's still under investigation. Back to you. Rick, thank you. At the end of April, police went after people with open warrants, serving 26 of them.